Hello guys, so now we will open our map and we will add the data we created and all the raster files we have and we will see how can we do georeferencing in ArcGIS Pro. So now we have our project open, we will go to the map and we right click on the map right here and we add data and we go to our folder location and we open California Geodatabase, California dataset and we add all the layers we have here and we will right click here again and add data so we can add our raster images so we'll choose the three of them and as you will see right now we have the freeways in the right location we have California counties in the right location and we have Orange County cities uh, in a different location so if we right click on it and we zoom to layer you will see that it exists somewhere wrong and we need to do georeferencing for it so if we go back to our previous extent and we reorder our raster images so we put California we put the freeze on top of it and Orange County will be and we leave Orange County here and freeways on the top so now let's zoom in a little bit more right here and save this bookmark as Southern California Southern California and say OK. And now let's zoom to Orange County. Let's hide the, uh, the freeways and let's zoom to Orange County. And now in order to enable the georeferencing, we need to select which raster we want to do georeferencing for. So we want to do for Orange County. So we have to select it from the content. And then we go to imagery and we click on georeferencing. So it will open for us the georeferencing toolbar. And here uh, we have we will go through all of this tools so here we have a set spatial reference if you click on it if this image doesn't have a spatial reference you can select the spatial reference from here or you can import it from any existing layers but our image already have the right spatial reference so we are okay with that so we are going to cancel this one a fit to display will bring the image from wherever it is in the right location and as you see here right now we have uh, the image instead of it be in the right location now it's very close to where we want it to be and here you have a uh, move so you can move your image anywhere you want and scale will allow you to scale your image so you make it bigger or smaller so it's a little bit big so let's make it a little bit smaller to fit and then here you have rotate if you want to rotate your image so we can rotate it a little bit like that and flip if you have your image originally uh, not in the right direction you can flip it from here as you see and you can do several flips or fix it rotate so you can rotate your image uh, to the right or the left if it's not in the right direction so here auto georeferencing will allow you to create an automatic uh, control points and will georeference it for you for the auto georeferencing to work right you need to have a, a very similar kind of raster on top of each other like look exactly like each other so let's try it right here and say and see how it will work so as you see right now, the auto georeferencing didn't put our image in the right direction. It just created a very random images for us because it doesn't match the look of the base map below it. So right now we will remove this control points by say delete all and say yes and it will return it to where it was before. So we can click and we need to click fit to display again. And the next thing we have here is import control points. So for example, if you have uh, existing JU referencing points that you can import from a text file, you can click here and find your text file that have a, the let and long from to the let and long to, and it will work for you if you have a text file that have the let and long data for you. So here we have uh, add control points, and this is the one we will use to match the points we want to fit this image in the right location. So now let's enable our control points. And as you see here, if I selected a point right here, I'm not gonna be able to put it in the right location because I don't see what's below this image. So what we will do, we'll go to appearance, make sure you have this layer selected here, and we will change the transparency, let's say 50%, click enter. Now we can see what's below it. And if we go back to georeferencing, we have add control selected. Now we can match some points to match the right location always remember that you have to start from the source so we have to start from where our point is and where 
we want it to go. So here's the first one. And as you see, it make an auto adjustment and you can change the auto adjustment from here. If I disable this one, I can put the points and it will not change it for me unless I click apply. So now as you see, I put the second point and nothing happened because I didn't click apply. If I click apply, it will apply and change the image for me. So always keep the auto apply enabled because it will help you to see where is your map at. And here, a third one. So now we have this area okay, all this is fine. This area is fine as well. This one is shifted a little bit. So let's take this one and put it right here. And now we have our image in the right location. Uh, the next thing we do is click on transformation so we can apply these changes and we can choose any of these options based on how many points we have. So we will choose adjust because we have at least three points. And as you see, there's a small shift happened or small adjustment happened to make sure that the image is in the right location. And now we can open the control point table right here and you can see all the points you created. You can see the source X and Y for each point and you can see the destination X and Y on the map as well. And here you can disable or enable any point. And if you disable a point from here, the map will readjust. Uh, so you can add a lot of points and see if you remove one point, how it will look like, or you can put it back again. Here you have import control points, same as this one. If you export your current control points, you can click here and say yes, because we want to export all the enabled ones. And we will say yes. And you can save this one as a control point. So we can say here control points. And we can save it in our folder location here in the advanced California. And we can save it here as control points. And we'll say yes, save. And now you have your control points saved as a text file. If we go back here, you'll see that you have a text file. If you open it, you will see that you have the source location and the destination location. And you can send this file to anyone. If they want to do georeferencing for the same image, they can just come here and say import control points and they select the text file you sent them. Uh, here we have the option to add control points, same as this one, or zoom to a selected one. If we have one selected, we can zoom to it or delete it, or you can delete all the control points you have in your table. So right now let's close this control points table and, and make sure that we do the transformation, we do adjust and make sure that everything in the right place. And now we save it. And after we save it, we can close the georeferencing window and you will see that our image is in the right location. And now we can go to appearance and change the transparency back again to zero. And we have our three images, the LA freeway. And now we have our three raster images been georeferenced in the right location. So if you view the LA freeways, you will see that it's in the right location. Uh, Orange County cities right here and California counties is right here. So that's it for the georeferencing. Now you know how to do georeferencing for any raster image you have in ArcGIS Pro. In the next video, we will start to work on this feature layers we have here and we will start to draw this counties, cities and draw some freeways. So we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.